hey everyone, it's Kim with Abel Gardner, and this is just an update uh, with getting my new queen into the new hive. I needed to leave her there for, for five days. It's been six days now, so I need to check to see if the bees have accepted her and if she's starting to lay uh, if she's starting to lay brood, then everything's okay. And then I'm going to close it up, and this will just be, hopefully, a mini update. I'm going to go ahead and take my smoker, and I'm going to smoke the front of the hive just a little bit, just to calm the bees down in case they get a little aggravated. I'm going to take the food can off, and they're all over the food can, so that's good. I'm glad I have a colony going on in there. Anyway, it's empty. I'm not sure if it was full all the way, but it is empty. I'm going to shut this up, go ahead and smoke a little bit in there, and then look to see what's going on with the queen. Well, you guys, I had forgotten my hive tool, which is not a good thing for a beekeeper to forget their hive tool. So let me just smoke them down a little bit. Now, there are more bees in here than I thought there would be. Now, I don't want to lose my queen, that's for sure. Hopefully, she's down in the frames laying brood. I've got these guys attacking me. One thing that I was really worried about was that uh, whether another colony of bees would take over my beehive. Now, I don't think that would happen. I don't think it should happen. But, you know, it always could happen. We've got some Italian bees around here, or my neighbor has Italian bees, and they are aggressive. I mean, they come right at me, and they'll just sting me for no reason at all. But I've got a lot of bees in here. They look like they're my bees, which is good. And I'm just going to take the queen box out of here to make sure that she's out of the box. If she's not out of the box, I'm going to put it back in there really quick. So there is my little queen box. She's not in there anymore. The end of it is open, so whatever was stuck in the end uh, the bees ate out and she is out of there and what it looks like from here is that with the amount of bees that are in this hive it's just jam-packed with bees it looks like they accepted her and she's probably laying brood so let's just go ahead and check one of these frames now as always we're using nine frames in a ten frame hive so let me take this one out and I'm not going to bring it over to you I'm not sure where she is, and I don't want to put this over the ground in case she happens to fall off or um, I happen to lose her. I don't want that to happen. Now, they're making honey, which is good, but I want to see that she's laying eggs, that she's in there somewhere laying eggs. So I'm going to go ahead, check another hive, put this one in there really carefully. Like I said, um, I hope that you guys can see from your camera view but there are a lot of bees in here. Now it stands to reason since she was in one of these middle frames that she would probably stay on that middle frame and start laying brood. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to check the very middle frame here. Go ahead and get that lifted out. And the bees are getting a little aggravated at me. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a wild hive. And things have changed on this hive. They're really starting to build out the foundation. A lot of the bees have their little heads stuck into the, the beehive and they're feeding the brood. Now this one on this side is uh, almost all capped brood. I will show you that. But I'm looking for her on there and I'm not seeing her right away. Now I know a lot of you uh, experienced beekeepers can pick out a, a queen just instantly. Oh, I think that may be her right down there. Let me see. It's getting hard for me to... Yeah, I think this is my queen or it's a drone. And I'm really having trouble between queens and drones. But that looks like her. I'll just show you guys real quick. Where'd she go? That looks like her right there. But that could be a drone. And I don't want to keep this out just in case she falls off. So let me get that down in there. I'm going to check the next one, but I'm going to have to um, get down on my knees because I can't bend over like that without being in a lot of pain. So let me get these moved over. Let 
get this one out and I just I would say a hundred percent that they have accepted her and she's making brood because I don't know what else they would be doing since they are feeding brood they have their little head stuck in the in the honeycomb and they're feeding the brood now my neighbor may come over and he may want to check them also and that would be good because I'd like for him to find her now I did notice when I saw the queen before my other queen that the difference between her and and any of the drones the queen I noticed that the queen didn't have uh, that much in the way of wings she looked almost wingless so I'm looking I'm looking there's a lot of brood a lot of capped brood on this side I see some drones some workers uh, little male bees okay you guys well I just wanted to check to make <laughs> I just wanted to check and make sure that that they had accepted her which they have I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to just stop this for now and put the lid back on because well I'm just having to so like I had said hope you guys can see down in here she is out of her little box they're also making honey get off there you guys get off there she's not in there anymore whatever I mean, you know what I think I want to check just one more frame to see if I can find her oh it smells so good it smells like fresh honey now here's a side that they've made a lot of honey but she's been laying brood it looks like maybe recently I don't know if you can tell that or not but so before I do drop her and just really mess things up uh, she's going back in there the bees are just buzzing like crazy they're really mad at me there's a black bee so uh, I'm going to cover this up because I think the black bees that are here are stressing out my bees. I'm going to go ahead, smoke them down a little bit so they're not trying to get out for when I put the lid on. I hate smashing bees along the lid. Good. I dear, didn't hear any crunching then. So you guys, that's it for today. They've accepted her. She's making brood. They're feeding the brood. They're also making honey. And I'm really happy. I'm happy that I have another colony. Anyway, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by and joining me today. And I'll talk to you guys later. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.